Hey, New Hope family, coming at you with the Devo for this Saturday, today, this wonderful weekend. I just wanted to give you some perspective uh, coming out of 1 Corinthians 3, 12 through 15. Now, this is Paul writing this letter, and he's writing specifically in this passage to the church, to Christians. And so keep that perspective. It says in verse 12, anyone who builds on that foundation may use a variety of materials, gold, silver, jewels, wood, hay, or straw. But on the judgment day, fire will reveal what kind of work each builder has done. The fire will show if a person's work has any value. If the work survives, the builder will receive a reward. But if the work is burned up, the builder will suffer great loss. The builder will be saved. Remember that part. But like someone barely escaping through a wall of flames. When we get to eternity's gates, there's going to be two thrones one throne of judgment, which doesn't mean condemnation. It just simply means examination. Um, and there'll be the first seat where we get there and it says we're going to be separated like sheep and goats. And so if you're saved, Jesus has covered you. You don't have to worry about that and you've accepted him in your life. The next seat it talks about is Christ's judgment seat where we go and go face to face with Jesus and he looks at our life and says, hey, What'd you do with your life? How did you steward what I've given you? And that's what this First Corinthians is talking about, that this judgment is going to reveal what kind of work that we did. Does it have value? Does it have meaning? All this life that we've built. We are builders. The, the, the Bible refers to us as builders all the time. And so we're building a life right now, every single day, every moment, every choice that we do, we're building a life, both emotionally, relationally, spiritually and physically with what we do with our time and our money. And so, you know, it talks about in verse 15 that the builder is going to be saved, but some it's going to be like barely escaping through a wall of flames. And I don't want to go to heaven in a place where I built this whole life that I thought had meaning and value, but it actually didn't do anything for my eternity. It didn't carry over into heaven in my eternity with Jesus. See, if anything of value has true value or true meaning in this life, it means that will impact or carry over to eternity. If you're, if anything in your life does not impact or carry over into eternity, then the Bible says it doesn't have any real meaning or value. And so that's an important perspective. We can't take it with us. We can't take what this life that we've built but if we build it in such a way that has meaning, that is impacting eternity and carrying over into eternity, there's going to be a great reward for that. And we won't suffer great loss after we're saved. If you think about it this way, you know, we tell this to our students. If you went on a weekend vacation and you were in a hotel room and you got there and you knew that you were only there for a limited amount of time and you said, well, I don't really like this bed. So I'm going to go buy a new king bed, a full mattress pad, a full setup. And you know what? That TV's a little small, flat screen. I'm going to you know what, actually, I need a little bit more space in the bathroom, so I'm going to bust out a wall and get a, a, you know, a large floor plan, like an open concept, and, you know, maybe put uh, an extra, you know, room onto that, and you're just like building on this hotel room, well, then the weekend's over, and you check out, and you turn your keys in, and you look back at all that you've built, and you can't take it with you, you go back home. It's just a rental. It's just a place that you're in temporarily. And sometimes we as Christians, we even build a life like that. We spend all our time in a place that we have been borrowed time, if you will, on this earth. That is just a vapor. That is our lives. And we build it like a hotel room. And then we check out when Jesus comes back, which can be soon, any moment, or when we die. And we have to return the keys and we go, man, what I thought was of meaning and value actually wasn't. And so I challenge you with that perspective. What are you building? What kind of life are you building? Is it, effect is it affecting or impacting eternity or when we get to that spot is it going to be burned up and we've made it we're saved but we don't have as much reward let me pray for you jesus give us an eternal perspective in everything we do every choice we make let it be of meaning and value to you not by our standards we love you jesus help us to live this way every moment of every day we thank you god in your name amen Love you, New Hope. We'll see you tomorrow.